My name is Morgan McDowell and this is my Nursing 230 Physical Assessment Part 1. <laughs> hey Sam, can you tell me what your name and date of birth is? Maddie McDowell, 8295. Alright, so my name is Morgan I'm your nursing student today. I'm going to do a full head to toe physical assessment. Is that okay with you? <laughs> I love yes. your dog. Thank you. Is he a service animal? Yes. Name's for, Cash. Okay, what do you have a service animal for? Uh, sometimes I have seizures. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so first I'm going to start by just looking at your skin, looking at the color, <clears throat> temperature, which you feel a little warm today, moisture, she is dry, <laughs> edema, which I don't see any edema anywhere. lesions, um, <coughs> turgor, bruising, and scars. So I don't see any scars, no nevi, no lesions, no edema, she's dry, a little bit warm, but I think that's just because it's a nice day. And then I'm going to move on to her head. So I'm going to look at her head, looking at the size, which is very normal, <laughs> making sure that it's symmetric on both sides, which it is. And that is midline. So now, Maddie, I'm going to go ahead and palpate your head. If you feel any tenderness, you just let me know, okay? Okay. <laughs> so now I'm palpating her head, looking at her hair color, which looks to be dyed. <laughs> it is very soft. It feels like she might have just washed it, hopefully. Um, infestations, I don't see anything like that. No scars. I don't feel any massive. Did anything feel tender at all? No. Okay, good. So now I'm going to go ahead and palpate her temporal arteries. And I'm also going to go ahead and palpate all your lymph nodes now at this time. If you feel any tenderness at all, you just let me know. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and check your cranial nerve five. So what I'm going to have you do is clench down into your jaw and I'm going to go ahead and palpate. You don't feel any tenderness or anything? No. Perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead and just lightly touch you and you just let me know if you can feel it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All yes. right. So now I'm going to go ahead and check cranial nerve seven. So I'm going to have you do a big smile for me. Frown. Raise your eyebrows. <laughs> That was an interesting frown. <laughs> Raise your eyes, puff your cheeks out, go real big, and make the duck lips. Perfect. So cranial nerve seven is intact. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to your ear. So first things first is I'm just going to look at your outer ear. Make sure, look at the size and the position. Make sure that they are in line where they're supposed to be, which they are. Now I'm going to use this light just to look at the auditory canal, which it looks nice and clean. <laughs> We're going to look at the other side, Ooh, a little bit of wax, but it's okay. <coughs> then I'm going to go ahead and palpate the pinna. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm sorry. Everything feels great though. I don't feel any, no tenderness or anything. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and check your cranial nerve eight. So first things I'm going to do is do a whisper test on you. So you're going to go ahead and put your finger over your tragus on this side, and I'm going to whisper a number to you, and you're going to let me know what that number is, okay? Once we're done, we're going to swap sides. <laughs> so I'll make sure I'm standing a good ways about. 11. 11. Okay, and then go ahead and switch to the other side. 13. 13, so that is perfect. <clears throat> Next, we're going to do the Weber test which I have my tool. So I'm going to strike it. And when you stop feeling it, you let me know. Okay, I don't feel it anymore. And then we're going to put it back here. I don't feel it anymore. Can you still hear it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then we'll do it to the other side. I don't feel it anymore. Don't feel it anymore. You can still hear it. You can hear it. Perfect. So that was the Weber test. Now we're going to do the Rhine test. So I'm going to strike it again. I'm going to put it right here. And when you stop feeling it, 
I'm gonna pull it away and see if you can still hear it, okay? All right. Okay. Can you still hear it? Perfect. <laughs> and one more time. Okay. All right. So that was the rind test. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to inspect the lashes, the brows, and the fissures, which everything looks good. She has eyelashes which is well, as well as eyebrows. And then I'm going to inspect the sclera, the conjunctiva, looking for the color, which her sclera is white. And then it is pink and there's no discharge, which is also good. I can also notice that she has some contacts in. So now I'm going to check her gross visual acuity. And if you can re hold this and let me know what this says right here. Head and face. And then go ahead and cover your left eye. She's head, head and face. And go ahead and cover your right eye. Head and face. All right. And now we are going to move on to the snail test. So we'll hold this from far away. Can you tell me what that letter is? N. And then go ahead and cover your left eye. What is that letter? G. And cover your right eye. R. Perfect. So Maddie has 20-20 vision right now, which you have contacts in, correct? Yes. All right. So now we are going to go ahead and move on to cranial nerve 2. So what I'm going to do is have you cover your left eye. And in the distance, I'm going to show you a number and you'll tell me what that is. And we're going to check your peripheral vision, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Tell me what that number is. Three. Four. Five. All right. And then go ahead and switch. Two. Three. Four. Perfect. So our peripheral vision is intact. Now we're going to go ahead and check cranial nerve three. So I'm going to check her pupillary response to light. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to look at her pupil sizes, which are four right now. They are equal round, and then we'll see if they're reactive to light. So it's going to be a little bit bright. Perfect. All right, so they are reactive to light, and I did it twice because the first time you're checking just this size response, and the second time you're checking to see if the other side will react as well. <clears throat> so now I'm going to check three, four, and six cranial nerves. So I'm going to hold this pen light far away. You're going to just follow the pen light, not moving your head, just moving your eyes. And then I'm going to look to see if there's any shakiness in your eyes and the ability to do so, okay? So we're going to go ahead and follow. And I'm doing the six cardinal fields of gazes. Perfect. So it's cranial nerves three, four, and six are all intact. I'm also going to check cranial nerve three for accommodation. So I'm going to move this in and you're not going to move your head or anything like that. We're just going to see if your eyes can accommodate to something moving closer. Okay. Perfect. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and check the red reflex. does look to be intact and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the nose so I'm just going to look at the nose to make sure that it is thin line and straight which it is I'm going to check for nasal patency looks like it is very patent can you breathe through your nose well good and now I'm just going to palpate your maxillary and frontal sinuses do you feel any pressure tenderness anything like that no all right, so that concludes part one and look for my part two video.